Hey y'all, welcome to another video today. Uh, today I went to a church sale, um, and this place is cool because all of the stuff that they sell is $2. Well, all the clothes that they sell are $2 each, no matter what it is. Uh, pants, shirts, kids clothes, jackets, sweaters, doesn't matter, two bucks. Uh, and it's super cool because uh, I can pick up stuff that I normally wouldn't pick up at maybe the higher priced thrifts. Um, because, you know, so the jeans will be five bucks. Not that there's anything wrong with that price, because I think that's a, that's a pretty, pretty good deal. But um, I can buy stuff to lot together specifically, uh, and all kinds of cool vintage stuff at these, these smaller, um, venues when there's not quite as many resellers digging through there. And there are some, but, uh, not quite as many. So without furthering your doo doo, let me, uh, show you what I got. Uh, the, one of the biggest things I got today, one of my favorite things I get are jeans, uh, especially like Levi's and Wranglers, but not all Wranglers. Um, but just just regular old Levi's jeans, regular old Wrangler jeans. And just to show you, I picked up all these. These are all Levi's, every single one of them. And I think about seven of them, seven, six or seven or eight or something like that, are actually all the exact same size. I super lucked out. Um, but even if they weren't, I would have picked them up for two bucks. And what I do is I will, uh, I'll put them in a bin in my, uh, in my storage unit and just kind of gather them up, especially this time of year with yard sales. You can, oh my gosh, yard sales are so good. You can find uh, Levi's jeans and, and Wrangler jeans and all other kinds of jeans too, but I'd stick to the ones that are pretty popular um, for cheap, for two, three bucks. And, and, you, and especially if you go to someone's house, excuse me, and, they, and they, uh, they, they're, they're unloading a bunch of them cheap, just get them all in, you know, just put them in one lot, sell them together, six Levi's jeans, 40 by 32. That's exactly what I'm gonna do with this stuff. And the other stuff I'm gonna put in my bin and just wait till I have a few of the same size and sell them. A uh, great way to make some money, even if you don't sell clothes. It's an easy, easy way to make money. I don't even put the measurements um, in, in the ones that I lock together because I just, it's too much of a hassle. Um, but yeah, that's the first thing I got. Super fun, super cool, and it's a great way to make money. Uh, and I, I guess I'll show you these two. I picked up, I got three pair of Wrangler jeans. Now the only ones I pick up are the ones with this patch on the back of them. There are some, some cheaper versions, which are cool too. You can probably lot them together as well. Um, but I just stick to these because it's easy and cool. And I think I got three of those, all different sizes. So I'll just put them in my bin and wait till I get some that are the uh, that are the same size, probably three or four. Um, you know, because you know once you bump up the shipping, like like a, these like one pair of jeans will fit in a flat rate envelope, but two really kind of they don't. Um, so you want it to be like three or four, but hey, just try whatever, give it a shot. Um, but yeah. So anyway. Some of the stuff I picked up, I wasn't really sure. I, I didn't look up anything, but this is kind of neat. It's like a, we get a lot of Alabama stuff down here. Alabama, Florida State, uh, Florida. Uh, yeah, a lot of that stuff down this way. Um, it depends on Florida, but this is something I've never really seen before. Might not, I, I didn't look, like again, I didn't look it up, but it's a, uh, yeah, cool little Mickey Mouse University of Alabama t-shirt. It's not single stitch, it's borderline vintage, El Salvador, borderline. Um, Maybe not. I gotta do some research on it. Thought it was cool. If anything, I'll give it to someone around here because everybody roll tide, right? Um, let's see, got some Columbia PFG shorts. Shorts are obviously super awesome right now. Um, I checked these out on pretty good. They usually, when I find these, these usually have stains on them. These didn't really seem to have any, but for two bucks, whatever. Um, I got a picked up a Polo Sport, a vintage Polo Sport some a bathing suit it's kind of like a it's like cotton kind of weird cotton blend but uh yeah it'll sell um i did find some pretty sweet vintage jeans i love the vintage stuff i don't even know that i think these are the brand i don't know what the brand is of these but look at these things <laughs> that color though and right next to these were these these are actually roper which is a uh, like a, a good good brand to look out for really for anything even their shirts um, are generally worth picking up but these are some some vintage women's roper jeans these are cool man uh, cool color to them i imagine those will sell pretty good i did get pretty lucky um there as well now this is now some of this stuff i would have picked up in a thrift store um anyway could you know but um I mean, I'm not going to say no to a couple pairs of Miss Me jeans, you know. Why not? For $2 each, can't beat that at all. Um, this is something I probably would have passed, but these are some vintage. Uh, I just love vintage stuff. I love these vintage jeans, some vintage Liz wear. 
Um, yeah, they're high rise tapered mom jeans. They'll, they'll probably sell for like 18 bucks. I don't know. We'll find out though. Some Rocky Mountain clothing jeans. These are some like Western riding jeans, I believe. Um, again, I, I, I may have picked these up in the Goodwill. I, I would have had to look, I would have, I would have looked up the comps if I were to have picked them up in a Goodwill. Um, but I didn't look up anything that I'm showing you now because it was $2. Uh, let's see. Oh yeah, these are cool. Some, now the tag's a little, a little messed up, but these are some Harley Davidson, um, carpenter jeans. I believe they're, and these are women's too. Pretty sweet. Hey, the super, super 90s look, Y2K, that are, or, or, or late 90s, early 2000s look. Good stuff, that stuff's really in right now. Well, let's see, got some Wrangler, rugged wear, but they I wouldn't have really picked these up if they didn't have the flannel lining. Um, super fun, super cool. It's out of season, but I don't care. Again, I'm looking for the shorts. Um, mostly looking for camo cargo shorts. The, the, the early 2000s stuff is really, really starting to take off um it's been kind of teetering and now it's really starting to take off and then them, them cargo shorts and especially the camo ones now these aren't camo but um these are nice distressed got that olive green and these are american eagles they probably sell for like 15 bucks nothing too crazy but still for two dollars um easy to ship why not you know and one thing I'm always looking for when I go to these church sales I, I, I don't know if you know or not if you don't if you don't know now you will Church sales are the bomb. I mean, the absolute bee's knees when you're looking for vintage stuff. Um, anyway, now this isn't, now, now the stuff I'm gonna show you isn't the craziest vintage stuff, but I'm just letting you know that they are. And um, again, I didn't have any million dollar finds today, but um, that's generally where I find them. Um, not that I've ever found a million bucks, but you know what I'm saying. Anyway, vintage single stitch, Ohio State shirt, made in the USA, don't know, thought it was cool. Actually, this is one of, the, one of the favorite things I found today. Check it out. It's a Rugrats edition of a baseball Atlanta Braves jersey. Look at that. Pretty sweet. It's not real snagged up either. I mean, it's it's missing some of the the um, screen you know some of the screen print starting to to chip off, but it's it's in pretty daggum good shape. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if it's worth anything, but it's pretty fun. Pretty cool. Let's see, this is vintage. This has got stains all over it. I'm just going to try to run this on the bleach cycle a few times because I believe it would be worth it. But it's a Florida State shirt, vintage Florida State shirt. But I think the biggest deal with it is it's got this dude on there. That's not politically correct anymore. And stuff with this kind of thing, like old, uh, like old Cleveland Indian stuff, Washington Red St Skin stuff, Florida State Seminole stuff, um, it's, it's just kind of gaining in value because they don't, they don't, they're not doing it anymore. Um, so look out for it. Let's see. Oh, this is cool. This is like a hound's tooth. It's got the hound's tooth pattern. It's a vintage uh, resort, boa resort or whatever. But it's got the hound's tooth and it's Alabama shirt. This is gonna be cool, man. I uh, this might be worth you know decent money, probably over twenty bucks. I'm not sure. Don't quote me on that because I didn't look anything up again. I know I've said that a million times, but I didn't. Um, but that kind of stuff's cool, especially with the hound's tooth. It's pretty sweet. And last but not least, I found a vintage made in the USA. Just a regular Florida State shirt. Nothing crazy, but because it's a Russell Athletic and it's made in the USA, this is going to make it worth a little bit of money, worth posting. I would have bought this at a good at the regular price too. But um, yeah, good stuff. Good stuff. I did pick up a couple other things. I'll be grabbing for you really quick. I only picked up. I do. I will pick up a lot of this. We're just going to pretend like that never happened. I do pick up a lot of um shoes at these things unfortunately this time there wasn't really um too much to pick from but i did find these vintage now these need cleaned up bad and i don't know how well they're going to clean up but for two dollars i thought it was worth a shot these vintage acne leather boots again they got to be cleaned up but uh if they turn out okay i think these are pretty cool i got a little monster hat to sell i don't know if it is worth anything but i figured i would give it a shot and last but not least, again, I have a weird thing for brass stuff, especially if it's like ugly and this fits the bill. So I bought it for me. It's going to my brass collection, <laughs> which is really actually just in a 
just in a box in my storage unit. Um, yeah, little brass, little brass bowl. Anyway, uh, that's all I got for you today. Um, I hope you guys have an awesome day. I hope this was helpful um, in your reselling career. Um, if you got any questions, leave them down in the comments. Um, and y'all have an awesome day. Thank you for watching.